All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being on. Again, if you are able to be on camera, I would love that. Um, so today we're going to be talking about all things friendship, sisterhood, events, morale, all of those good things, which I think for this time of the semester is really great. So, so please put um, let's just do some introductions. If you could put your name, your chapter, if you hold the position, if you could put that in the chat, just so I could kind of take track, track of attendance and you get credit for being here today. While you're doing that, I'll introduce myself again. I am Jenna Zielinski. I am a chapter health specialist with Omega Phi Alpha. Um, I'm an alum of the Omega chapter and I'm trying to think of anything else. I've been involved with O Phi for a very long time. And I'm just excited to be here with you all. Let me see who we have today with us. We got Alpha, Alpha Pi. Oh, we got a lot of different Alpha Row. A lot of different positions, which I kind of love too. Super fun. I think this is going to be, I think this is pretty relevant for everyone. So thanks for coming on. Oh, we got a little bit of everyone from all over, all different roles. I love this. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for attending. Is this like a good time for people, like a Sunday afternoon? Did this just like happen to be a good time? Yeah. Okay. I will communicate that because I'm very happy with the amount of people we have. I'm also going to put um at the end a feedback survey. So be sure to fill that out and mention that there as well. But I will share it, of course. I just wanted to do a little bit of a community check-in for the people we have here to kind of see how how are we doing? I know we just kind of came back from spring break and things are happening. So, you know, what what kind of um is your vibe right now? If you want to put it in the chat, I feel like I'm muting. Are you I always kind of feel like Chrissy Teigen down there. Like I feel like I'm always just like chucking along, like, yep, everything's fine, everything's good. I'm just like that little smile. So I always kind of feel like that. But are you like really tired? Like, boo, like, how are you feeling? Okay, we're busy. Yeah, it's a busy time of year. Very, very busy. Okay, well, thank you for coming today. Exhausted. I feel you. I know this week I was very busy too. Tired. Okay. Oh, okay, take care of yourself. I challenge you all to do like something for yourself today, some sort of like self care. For me this morning, I woke up early and took a shower and did my skincare and like I've had a candle going and I'm going to try to like clean later. Um, but try to do something for you if you can. I know um the Sunday scaries are like very real too. Um, with like I kind of freak out Sunday Mondays because I'm thinking about everything I have ahead. Um, so you know, just take it one day at a time hang in there. I just want to check in and see how we're doing. And again, I thank you all for attending despite it being such a busy time and just know things are going to get better, right? They always do. But um, yeah, let's really get into all things sisterhood. So what makes a successful sisterhood event? I'm sure there's many different answers to this question, but I have one big one that I want you all to consider moving forward. And that is what actually makes a sisterhood event successful is people who normally don't hang out, don't really know each other that well, or maybe aren't friends at that sisterhood event. If they hang out and they become friends now and get a new friend, that is what makes a sisterhood event successful. That is what makes it truly successful. You're, the goal is to meet new people, to connect, to um, increase our bonds, right? So the, if you go to a sisterhood event and you just hang out with your best friend the whole time and you're there, um, that is kind of like, you know, you, what what was the purpose? You guys could have done that outside of it. So I think it's obviously, of course, I'm not going to say that you can't hang out with your friends or people you're close with at Omega Phi Alpha events. That would be silly because we're also, you know, increasing those bonds and those friendships and those connections. But I think keep in mind that the goal is to really like meet new people and connect with one another um, that maybe you aren't as close to. So I want you to keep that in mind as you head into events for the rest of the semester, whether you're the one planning them or if you're just attending them. Um, overall, when it comes to kind of like sisterhood and member engagement events, friendship events, we want to keep the idea of rows 
idea, this acronym of ROSE, making sure um, what our reach is, that events are very open, that people feel safe, and the engagement, that we're all really engaged with one another, the event is engaging, all things like that. And that's what's also going to make a very strong sisterhood event is just, you know, did you have a good reach? Was it open to everyone? Did people feel safe attending? Did they, f and just that overall engagement piece. So keep that in mind with everything that you do with Omega Phi Alpha. All right, just some tips for success when it comes, and this is really, I think for any type of event, but I am focusing a little bit on sisterhood here. Plan early. So this way you kind of front load the work for yourself and kind of have a calendar in advance for the semester of what you want to do with the plans. And that way also the members have the dates too. Everyone has the dates in advance. They're able to kind of either take time off or plan accordingly with their life um, by having everything kind of planned early. So I recommend that for everything. I always say take advantage of the pre-planned events that you're having. You know, if everyone's already together for a chapter or a service event or another, you know, recruitment event, you could do a sister event or activity right before or right after. And even with chapter for service, um, you know, oh, let's go get dinner right before chapter, right after chapter, let's do this. Or we all just finished um, our community cleanup. Great. Who wants to go get food after? You know, who wants to get coffee? Um, people already have the time blocked off. And so that's a great time to connect. And it could be something so quick and easy like that. Maybe we're just crafting at chapter, you know, maybe right before, right after, or even during. I also love doing an activity during chapter, right? Having something to do that you could focus, but still get something done. I think it is always really successful. So really just take advantage of what already is out there and even if that's like planned university events and things like that like take advantage of getting a group to go together but we'll talk more about that later realize you whether even if you're i see we have a lot of different officers today so overall i just want to remind you as a leader as i see everyone is very tired and stressed and busy is that you do not need to be at everything or do anything as leaders, I think what makes a leader really strong and successful is the ability to delegate, the ability to pass things on and to trust your people, right? We're all leaders in Omega Phi Alpha. It's one of our values. So how can we trust and rely on our people? If you have a committee, utilize that. Utilize other members. You can have a committee member be the point person at that event. Maybe a member has a really awesome idea for a sisterhood event or any type of event, tr truly, that they're super stoked and excited about. Let them take the reins on that. Let them take the lead on it. It's okay. Let them have that opportunity to do so. Um, it just creates those leadership opportunities too. Maybe, um, you know, you're having trouble booking an on-campus room or something, a movie night might be better at a member's place. Maybe you don't have the space to do that at your apartment, housing, whatever it is. Someone else probably does. So utilize them. It's a, like we could utilize other members to host events and things like that. Um, so just remember that you don't need to be at everything or do everything, especially if you're like um, a membership director I saw we had, or if you're, you know, vice president, president, it's okay. I know you may want to, but you can't and you're going to burn out. So really just rely on your people and it's okay. Don't beat yourself up if you can't um, attend everything. It's going to be all right in the long run. And people will then like, people will still respect you and things like that. Because they know when, then when you're there, you're fully being present and able to give your all. Whether it is if you show up to an event and you're on your phone your whole time or like you have to have your computer out doing other work, that's not as like engaging or you're not fully there and present. Take the time to ask members like what they want, whether, you know, that's a survey at the beginning or the end of the semester or at the midpoint or really at any point. Just like ask people, you know, what they want, because at end of the day like they're gonna be more likely to attend if it's something that they want to do um they're gonna feel very involved in it and they're gonna be like wow they're taking into consideration the things that like I want to have and so they're gonna be more engaged and more present at that event because it's something that like everyone wanted right something that people wanted to do um I think overall when it comes to, and again this is really all events making sure that we offer things at different times. Um, you know, obviously if we're having an event every Tuesday night and I have class or work Tuesday night and I can never attend, like that's kind of a bummer. It makes people upset. So try to find different times to offer and to do things. It's also good to kind of, you can then take, um, 
like a survey to see like what people's schedules are. If you guys don't do that already in your chapter, I recommend doing that to see like when people kind of have time for things. Um, and also like sometimes we know sometimes sisterhood events maybe cost money and it's not something the chapter can do. Maybe it's something people have to pay out of pocket for. So maybe just consider things at like different price points if it's something an individual has to um, take on. So, you know, there's so many different free events too, but just make sure that there's options for everyone. So everyone feels involved. We want to create a really inclusive environment. And then overall, just be aware of like breaks or the weather if it's like something outside like oh you may have to like switch it last minute or whatever or are a lot of people going to be away or leaving if you're, when you're trying to plan an event or just like busy times in the semester unless you're doing like a very intentional like study session or like um you know stress relief type of night uh spa night that but just be kind of like aware that maybe certain times may not be the best to have a sisterhood event and being able to like kind of gauge the signups on OPA portal like okay not you know people can't attend if you want to reschedule or cancel um just check in with everyone all right so sisterhood events I think overall when it comes to like a sisterhood or friendship event I'll use those terms um interchangeably that you kind of want to think about like what is the personality of your chapter and like what are things your members like to do um are do people like to be like really like silly and do something completely like out there? Are your members very competitive and want something where like they can like go up against each other? Um, are they crafty? Are they like, you know, wellness girlies? Like what it is, are they athletic? Like try to think about like the personality of your group and what they like to do. And again, it may be, you might, you probably have a lot of different people, but overall you kind of know like your members and what people like to do. Um, I know a lot of times people love to go to like different big university events that you have on or, you know, a game, football, basketball, hockey, whatever it may be that's big at your school. I suggest trying to, you know, try to do something all together. Sometimes you can even get like um, a section or an area for your sorority, for your chapter there. Even I would even suggest like going to some of like the women's games or like games that maybe not people always go to and support. Like, I think you can have a lot of fun doing things like that, but it's just kind of like creating like, hey, like a lot of us are going to go to this already. Like, can we all go together and you as the sister director or whoever you are can facilitate that and create that I think is a great opportunity. Supporting another org or a member by attending their event together. Um, I know a lot of those sororities on my campus would have a lot of fun events when I was in college, like um, like a tricky tray, like a raffling type of event, or like some sort of like dessert night or whatever it might be, but maybe like getting a group to do that. Cause also it's then like, hey, like we are our mega fat alpha and we're supporting another organization on our campus, whether a fraternity or whatever organization it is. But a lot of our members, too, are involved in other organizations, right? So maybe, you know, is someone in a show or is someone in a choir, are they performing? Um, is, um, are they in a cultural group that's having some sort of event? Are they having, or is their org having a fundraiser or another big event that can we all attend as a mega Phi alpha? Then that sister is going to feel so supported, too, that like, wow, so many people from my chapter came for me to see me in this or to support me and my other organization. So it also is like a morale booster too, right? And it just shows the support that we have for one another. Gift exchanges are popular, um, whether it's like holiday um, time, like in the winter or Galentine's or like a just cause one is super fun. I some Another chapter told me that they did like an off season white elephant or like they even did like one around St. Patrick's Day, like it could or it could just be like just cuz to show like sister support and appreciation you can have a little like food celebration with that too obviously holiday and seasonal events are always very popular i feel like the fall events are the bigger ones with this right like we all love having like a spooky movie night or going apple pumpkin picking doing some sort of like cookie decorating gingerbread houses you can make some of this stuff even like a, a competition but there's definitely something around you know each kind of holiday and depending on where you're at in the country something happening that would be good and then I tried to put kind of like events together um and I took things from that I heard chapters are doing that seemed really cool like line dancing or bowling mini golf um the rage room is really fun um the chapter health team we had a retreat in the fall and we did that and it was really awesome I suggest that for even like an exact board retreat for sure 
trampoline parks. I love karaoke and you can even do like, they have like the private rooms, but you can even do that like at, like on your campus, right? Like book a room, like get the karaoke tracks on YouTube. Like that's super fun. And just like a free, again, some of these things like are paid and some are free and you can just really take advantage of that. I lost my train of thought for a second. Oh, one chapter I know they had a chapter that they knew there wasn't going to be much that had to be discussed. So they took their chapter that night. They went to mini golf. They all wore Omega Alpha shirts and they kind of like talked through what they had to while they were doing mini golf. And I thought that was really awesome and really fun and just something a little bit different, right? Take advantage of like, you know, your on-campus gym. Like if you guys all want to get together for like a fitness class, yoga class, Zumba, um, there's so many things. Or maybe you want to have someone who works at the campus gym, like come just to do something for your chapter. Sometimes people feel a little more, more comfortable doing that. But I also know other chapters that had a lot of success. Like every week we all go to Zumba together or once a month we all attend this yoga class, um, whatever it might be. But that's like a great opportunity to kind of like connect together in that way. Craft nights are obviously very popular too. Um, I know the tote bag painting and the bracelet making have become very popular, but like the potter, if you want to go to like a pottery place, that's really fun. Um, canvas painting, whether it's just like a paint night, you're following along or everyone's doing their own thing or just to prep for big little. Tie-dye is obviously a great thing too. And that could be even like a retreat activity if you get like a white shirt and everyone like that's a like alpha, maybe everyone tie-dyes it or people bring their own supplies. I also love the idea of if you have like a crafty chapter of having like a craft night that's like bring your own craft. Like I know some people like crochet or knit. So maybe some people do that and everyone does a little bit of everything or you can even make it like a teacher sister type of moment. Things that are a little more competitive or, you know, maybe a biggest scavenger hunt across your campus or I know chapter recently had a trivia night. Um, cahoots are very popular, whether it's like you want to do one for everyone or like members create them about themselves or Jeopardy um, in, for like families or just random topics. I also know PowerPoint nights have become very popular too. And I think those are really cute and fun. Chopped, like the show Chopped or Cupcake Wars. Things that are a little more laid back would be like, you know, movie night or spa night or game night. And maybe that's like at someone's, you know, um, house or apartment or whatever it might be, or you can have it on campus as well. I personally recommend having events on campus. that kind of feels a little bit more accessible, but I understand that certain restrictions are things you may have to have it at someone's like residence. If you have fun things nearby you, like maybe you have like an amusement park or a beach trip or a lake trip, um, that you can do as a chapter or like a, a group or maybe during the break if people are nearby, especially like in the summer and everyone goes out to that. Roller skating, ice skating. And then I kind of put more intentional ones. Hold on. Uh, ooh. Like le everyone writes like a nice letter to each other. Um, Something that my chapter did was we all decorated a mason jar and then everyone wrote like ni nice notes about each other and put them in. I, I still have all of mine. We also did one where it was just like a picture of you and everyone like wrote things around you. I know some chapters made it a little funny and did, like a giant picture of their head and like wrote things on it. Um, it's like some vision board making maybe at the beginning end or midpoint of the semester or like plate breaking, like writing things down, breaking the plate. Or if you want to like write a piece of paper, crumple it, throw it out, um, or lighting it. But there's so many different ways you can kind of go to through sisterhood events. And I think obvious, obviously it shouldn't be like, oh, let's do all of the same type of event constantly. I think it's good to kind of like switch things up. But these are just some like different ideas and things to do. I'm going to talk a little bit about things that you could do at chapter because it doesn't always need to be a full separate event. And there are ways that we can kind of forge our relationships and build our bonds during a chapter meeting as well. Obviously, dressed up or themed chapters are very super fun for people to get into. Um, I know in What's New in HQ and on Slack, a lot has been shared recently, but I know some very popular ones have been like the White Lies or um, like dress your type or pajama chapter, or maybe um, for like different holidays you're dressing up. I also know a chapter did like an Adam Sandler dress up one, which I thought was very funny and like sounded like a lot of fun. Um, I also love the rhyme without a reason. I always love seeing those videos. I think they're so like funny and clever and that could be a good chance to like connect with new people. 
any sort of like potluck or if like your chapter has some extra funds is able to do like a snack I think that's great I know a chapter did a dip night recently and everyone made like a dip um obviously char charcuterie boards are very like in and fun and like I also have seen ones where people make like very fun and different types of boards so that's also something that you could do and like have everyone bring the chapter and then that people people are always happy when there's food right when there's an event happening in chapter it kind of makes things a little bit more fun for attendance of just being like jessica here claire here emily all of that um i think doing a question of the day for attendance is a way to kind of like switch things up a little bit so being like okay like what's your favorite color what's the tv show you're binge watching right now it could like if Halloween's coming, what are you dressing up for Halloween? There's so many different options you could do for this. But I think if you have that for um attendance instead, and like that's how people answer, like saying the answer to the question. And obviously make it something short to keep it quick and moving. But I think that's something that makes chapter a little bit more fun. Or even if you just want to have like a question of the day for like everyone to like consider. And then like you turn and talk to someone or talk in small groups. Um, I think is a great thing as well whether it's like a this or that or just like how are you feeling right now like a check-in type of thing um, it could be either or another way to kind of increase our sisterhood um, through chapter is to kind of switch up the seating at chapter a lot of times people end up in like the same seat or sitting with the same people so there's some good ways to kind of like switch this up and yes your members may be annoyed if they got all settled in to having to get up and switch what they're doing but it's okay they'll live um these are just some examples of ways you can kind of like switch people up and arrange the seating but there's obviously a lot of different ways that you can go about doing this but I think it's kind of good again to switch things up a little bit and get out of um the ruts that we kind of can easily fall into and not in a bad way I, and also um with seating at chapter so i know a lot of times we're in some sort of like lecture hall or something like that but maybe you want to like switch the location for a day or like look at the way you're like sitting in the room like is it effective for your meeting um, just something to kind of like take in consideration, especially for like exec meetings. And I'm just mentioning that because I know we have a lot of different officers in here right now. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And elections are coming. So I'm sure some of you may be running for something new. I think every chapter should have some sort of sisterhood or connection activity. Um, I know some chapters start off with it as a little bit of an energizer, or maybe you want to do it halfway through business as a little like quick break, especially if it's like a long chapter, or maybe if you're doing voting, maybe you want to like take a really quick pause and just like do something fun. Some that I've seen or some that I suggest are like maybe a quick round of bingo, like hot takes, like getting into small groups and being like, what is your like hot take or unpopular opinion? Um, you can maybe just put on like a song and have a little dance break or there's so many like just dance videos that you could follow along. I know there's a few chapters that do this and I think that's really fun. You could maybe do a little Kahoot or chair yoga. Um, heads up there, the rock, paper, scissor wars. There's also like different like pairing activities you could do, like finding your pair, whether it's like a random thing or finding like things you have in common with people. There's a lot of good ones out there for sure. So I definitely suggest incorporating that into your chapter meetings if you don't do this already. Um, and at the end, I definitely want to hear if people have any suggestions. I kind of have a lot to go through, but I definitely want to hear your suggestions and ideas. And I've been collecting your suggestions and ideas throughout. I think it's also good to kind of do like a high and a low or rosebud thorn of sorts. Um, during your chapter it's kind of a good way to like check in and see how people are doing obviously this also depends on like chapter size and time that you have or maybe if just a few people feel like sharing um gamma chapter told me they call this like yellow rose as like the positive and blue daisy as like the the negative and I just thought that was really cute and like okay related I also love having a chance of just the sister shout outs and some people call this like snaps or rose swirls or ofayes um I personally think I know some chapters submit some sort of like google form and they're like type in like what you want to be shared at chapter I don't recommend doing this I think it should be in the moment and it also kind of creates a little bit more genuine and it's like one less thing for our members to do right there's already a lot of forms and things that need to be done so I suggest just at the end being like hey who has whatever you call it a snap a rose world ofa a sister shout out for someone and maybe that's like 
hey, so-and-so just got a promotion or um, Allie just got into grad school. Like, I want to shout that out, call her out. And then if you do like world swirls or snaps or just like whatever it may be, a little yay woohoo for them. Um, just like sharing something that you know is happening with another sister um, or uplift. Maybe, you know, they're going through a hard time. Just say, hey, I know so-and-so has been dealing with a lot. I just want to uplift them and be there for them. And like, you know, or maybe... What are, I know so-and-so walked their presentation or their test. There's so many examples, obviously. But I think also at the end of chapter, it's a nice way to close things out. But take that time to, like, highlight events and things that are going on. Like, if you're being like, hey, does anyone have anything coming up that they want us to attend or they want to highlight or know that's happening? Like, yeah, I'm performing in this thing. I would love for members to come. Or, hey, like, I'm an athlete and I'm playing in this. You know, we have this game coming up. I would love to have some support. Or my org is having this event, please come through. Or even if it's, that's just like sharing other events that you heard about on campus that aren't necessarily your own, like, Hey, I saw this is happening. I would love to attend. Who wants to go with me? That type of thing. Um, and again, I really do think that should happen in the moment at chapter rather than like, and then of course, put in the meeting minutes, put it in the chat, put it electronically after. But I just think it takes away a little bit sometimes when it's like, written out or it's like an obligation and it also is more genuine coming from like the person right rather than like if you're the sister director or whoever like reading them off just different voices too so i think recurring events are also a great way to establish our bonds and our overall sisterhood just because some, having something set gives people something to look forward to. And that way it's kind of set in their schedule. A lot of chapters I know do like the first of the month or the last of the month. Um, two that I see very popular are like um, a, a dinner where everyone goes to the same like place every night. I mean, not every night, but like the first Friday of the month or the last of the month before chapter. They Everyone goes and gets ice cream together or they get ice cream brought in or whatever it may be having like a weekly coffee date or study session, um, different ones to get together. Maybe once a month you do a potluck, whether that's a chapter or um, together, and maybe that's like themed, maybe it's not. The craft night like I was talking about, maybe it's just a chance like everyone who kind of likes to craft and do something gets together and does their own thing, you know, some parallel play. Um, I know book clubs right now are like very popular. Even if that's through Zoom, I think just having that chance to connect in that way. Um, and it kind of creates like affinity groups too, doing things like this. Or if you have like that workout class you guys all attend, it kind of creates like, okay, like who wants to come to this? And like, this is something else within our chapter that you can do. And then also with the recurring events, it's like if something happens every semester or every year, it just becomes a tradition and something that people to look forward to. So maybe every year you do the same holiday event, whether that's like a gift exchange or just like a fun themed chapter with food. That's something people look forward to. Retreats every year. I know some people do some of the same activities or if you're a ch chapter that travels for a retreat, maybe you go to the same place every year and that's something everyone then looks forward to. Um, if you have some sort of family weekend or event that's always really fun um maybe your chapter always does like a homecoming event or if you have formal once a year or once a semester these are things that people really look forward to and they like block out and want to attend um and they just celebrates everything so just something to keep in mind if you don't do this already i think having something recurring is a great opportunity for connection and something that's set and that way you can have different point people but the, again it's like it's always going to happen, right? Every week, every month, whatever it is, it's going to happen. And just heading on to that is through traditions. And along with having something to look forward to, it just kind of like enhance our bonds. And it's really just something that makes both our organization as a whole and our chapter special. As you all know, we have ceremonies and songs, and those are obviously traditions that we have that build us together. As we get into activation season, please take it and, and senior ceremony season too. Just take it seriously. Um, I know sometimes it can be a little like maybe people feel awkward or uncomfortable, but just remember like or remind your members that like it's about in this case for activation, like it's about the new members, right? Like it's not about us and like we're you are setting the president and the precedent and the example. Um, I also recommend if you haven't like 
read through the songs because the lyrics are like quite meaningful and there's a reason why um if you go to or if your chapter had like an induction with like alumni or if you had an event with alumni or if you go to convention um that you'll see like members get emotional and there's a reason why for that and just like it's what it means and also take the time to practice these things practice the songs practice this do a dry run of the ceremony beforehand everyone will feel a lot more comfortable and confident and you'll have a stronger ceremony that way I know um, at the same time, there's like additional activities that chapters do for like a bidet or initiation or activation, whether that's like where you have it, or maybe everyone goes out to dinner after or goes to get ice cream. Um, or maybe like we always do karaoke or just dance at bidet, um, whatever it may be, or, you know, certain pictures you might take, things like that. Um, those are, are very fun traditions too. I know some chapters have like consistent gifts that the chapter does for like around big little things with like paddles or just like a certain type of shirt or themed with your families, um, all things like that. And even on a bigger scale, maybe there's like a service event that your chapter always does. Like that's a tradition. Same with like recurring sisterhood events like that happen every year, every semester or like I was talking about that once a month type of activity. Those are traditions too. Even if you don't realize it when you graduate, trust me, it goes very fast and you look back, those are the things you're going to remember. And with the families for Big Little, obviously a lot of times they're like, I know they're themed um, and that's really fun to play off of. Um, and sometimes maybe like you're close to your your lineage um, and maybe not the rest of like the, fi the family that, you know, like the multiple pairs. Um, so I think that's like a good opportunity to have like time for like families to like be together, maybe during retreat or after big little. And I would suggest even doing like um events like surrounding this, like you could do like a family field day or like a sports event or things like that. And you can also like group people for activities um based off their families. And like that's how you create teams like, OK, the beta butterflies are going to be a team, the zeta zebras are going to be a team. um And that's just a fun way to kind of do things. And I think with traditions, I know we have a mix of like new and old chapters um, here today. And just keep in mind that like you could always start a new tradition. If you have an idea for something that you would like to see, you could always start something new. You could always make changes to something. Don't be afraid to make changes. And obviously things, you know, get lost and change over time. But think about it the way you think about like your holidays with your with your families or maybe traditions you have with your family it's kind of the same with the sorority so just like keep that in mind with the traditions as well like they are like important and sacred to people for a reason it's because it just is what makes things special and makes you feel good right all right so we're going to talk shift gears a little bit and talk a little bit more about morale um just because that's like a big thing. Obviously, like sisterhood is kind of more, a little bit more of the fun, but sometimes, you know, we do have to focus on morale, especially this time of year coming out off of the break. And as we, the midpoint end point of the semester, that finish line, things to kind of create very positive morale or strong chapter morale. One of them is open communication, making sure you're being really transparent with your members, um, that people feel like they can openly communicate and they um, feel free talking in chapter and that things just feel very open and easy and that things aren't being like hidden. Obviously, if you know, not everyone needs to know everything that's happening, but there's a proper ways to go about it, right? I think having post event surveys for feedback is really important. Recruitment, service, uh, retreat, big things. Having that after action review gives time to kind of reflect, but also see like what can be improved upon. And then also like to truly see how your members felt about an event, whether they liked it or not, um, and what could be improved upon for the future. And that's how we grow and improve is with the feedback. Intentional check-ins, whether that's a question at chapter, doing those like rosebud thorns. But I also know some chapters do some sort of like um, mental health check-in through a survey at different points of the semester or just, um, you know, maybe you have um, an open feedback form that people can like submit their concerns on throughout the semester. But I think making it very intentional at certain points is very important. Maybe like before midterms, like having time to check in and say like, hey, how are things going? Or maybe there was a problem that happened in the chapter, like taking the time to address and talk about it and not like hide the elephant in the room, right, is going to be very important. 
You want to make sure your officers are very accessible um because at the end of the day those are the leaders in the chapter and i know we have a lot of officers in here you are the leaders in your chapter so you want to make sure people feel comfortable coming to you and talking to you and that they know how to reach you as well and also obviously the appropriate channels and ways to reach you but you just want to make sure that we're being very um open and accessible and that people feel like that they could talk to you right um your chapter probably doesn't have great morale if people feel like they can't like go to their president or vice president with a problem or like they can't utilize standards or whatever it may be. You also want to make sure you're with the delivery of your information, whether that's like at chapter or about events or whatever it might be, um, that it's very clear with all the information available. Constant reminders, um, you know, as something big is coming up, obviously not to the point of being annoying or excessive but i think we all know what the appropriate amount is um with the reminders making sure the language we're using is you know open and diverse i know a lot of people like to use like say the girls or girlies i would not do that personally especially if your chapter has male members or members who don't identify as female um like, just look at the language you're using, especially, or if you're having, like, a formal way, you could bring a date. Like, make sure, like, the language you're using um, is just open to everyone um, and that people don't feel, like, excluded. We want to make sure people are feeling included. And also, just, like, your overall body language says a lot, too, right? Like, cross arms are very closed off. We want to make sure we're open, making good eye contact, not, like, rolling our eyes. I don't think anyone would do that, but, you know, things happen, so we just want to make sure... Um, that our body language at chapter, especially as an officer, uh, is just very open along with the actual words we're using because that's what our members are going to hang on to as you are often at the front of the room. I think creating different incentives and awards for things also really boosts morale. Like if you, I know sometimes people break up into like service groups or teams or like sisterhood groups, like, hey, like see if you get together this month like i want to see who out of these groupings who can get together the most this month for sisterhood or um you know service buddy just to like for accountability but it also kind of creates like who's going to get the most service hours who's going to have the most involvement points and like you know honor that who has perfect attendance like honor that give an award for that um i'm going to talk a little bit more like about awards and superlatives later but just having those different incentives, I think, um, and celebrating our members, it kind of gives people a little bit of a drive, right? We're motivated in that way. If they're, if we find out there's a reward for something, it does motivate us. And I think overall, just making sure that we're creating a lot of different opportunities for, because that is a big part of morale. Like, are there enough service projects for people to meet their requirements? And are they, is it something that's only offered one time or do you have various times for things to be offered? Are there makeup options? Is there leadership opportunities? You know, are people able to step up um, for different things that can represent your chapter or take on leading event, things like that? Um, same with like communication, do people feel open? Um, is the opportunity is communicated? Are there enough sisterhood and friendship events? You know, do you, if you if you require study hours or maybe during the busy part of the semester like before midterms or finals you want to offer some sort of study opportunity for people to get together so just think about the opportunities that you're offering are they plentiful are there enough are people able to attend all of them i think those are really important things that help with morale of just make because people get frustrated if they're like oh my god this sisterhood event's always on the same date same day time i can never attend or this service project or I, you know, I can't figure this out with my schedule. So creating opportunities, but maybe also making sure that like, hey, if you're struggling with this, like, are people able to reach out or who can they reach out to if they are struggling with things with Omega Phi Alpha, right? And their requirements. Um, we want to become, I always say, if there's problems, come as like a human first or sister first, rather than as like the officer, like, being like, hey, the V or the VP, you're not meeting your requirements. Like, let's check in with people first and see how they're doing before we get a little harsh. And then the biggest thing with morale that I have a whole slide on is chapter wellness. If you never heard of this, this term, you're going to learn a lot today, but hopefully we have all heard of it and have at least had an event or planning an event. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. But chapter wellness is good, a great opportunity for your chapter to really check in on morale and make improvements for the future, but more to come on that. Another thing that goes hand in hand with like both member um, member morale and 
overall sisterhood is just the recognition, recognizing our members, because it makes just people feel special and it highlights your amazing members and all of the things that they do. Um, some I know some chapters do a sister of the week or sister of the month, and they highlight them on social media as to why they got sister of the week or the month. And some chapters have like a plaque or a a special um why am I oh pla paddle I couldn't think of the word or like a stuffed animal of sorts or like you could have something really fun and like put it there. I know one chapter used to do like a giant bra and be like most supportive sister. Um, I thought that was kind of funny, but maybe there's like, I don't know, a t-shirt, like whatever it is, something to kind of like honor that and to highlight that. It should be voted upon like by your members. Everyone loves a birthday post. Everyone loves to be honored for their birthday. Um, so definitely have a chance to highlight and shout that out. It makes you just feel good. I think, um, LOA spotlights are also really important. If someone is away for study abroad or an internship, um, student teaching, whatever it might be that why they're LOA, like having a time to spotlight and highlight them. And with LOA too, I think it's good to have a, intentional events for members on leave of absence to attend or at the start of the following semester, a chance for like leap, people on leave, like a mixer of sorts to like a refresher so that everyone's on the same page heading back in. Um, to the semester. Um, winter break, spring break, summer break highlights, like highlight the awesome things people are doing, the job, maybe they're on a, a service trip, maybe they went somewhere really cool. Um, I always see really cool things on social media that people are doing from our chapters, so definitely highlight whatever people are doing on break, even if it's something that doesn't seem that big, like makes people feel good to be highlighted. Um, I think also even like professionally like goals right things like that it doesn't always have to be service I think social media takeovers are fun a lot of chapters do that around recruitment time so like hey like I'm so and so I'm gonna take a day in my life like feel free to ask me questions um about what's going on and you as the member should also ask that person questions in case they're not getting a lot of from PNMs but even if it's like your chapter has um, a big walk they do every year, a big service event. Maybe the service director takes over for that day, you know, um, just things like that. I love a good why OFA Wednesday, but maybe you have another fun prompt and then you could share them to you, the Instagram. Um, I also know there's like a lot of those templates are really fun. If you want to create one, like a sister who like always makes me laugh, makes me smile, is always there for me. The first person I met, the someone I want to get closer to, maybe something like that, a template, or um, the add yours are very popular right now too on Instagram. So if your chapter is able to like create one of those in that way, that's like another way to kind of get people in involved, engage, and also like recognize one another. Obviously like Dean's List grades or other like big accomplishments, um, you know, grad school, whatever it might be, those are great things to highlight. Along with like senior graduation spotlights, like, hey, we want to honor like our members who are graduating um this is what they have like coming up next for them some chapters do a little like photo shoot for their seniors um like organizing your photos whatever it might be and also in that same vein like highlight your new members too it will make them feel really special and welcome too like hey welcome Sophia to our chapter Sophia is a is a freshman studying this uh, what are you looking for with the mega phi alpha like everyone welcome Sophia and then if everyone like comments on that like that's gonna make Sophia feel awesome and excited to get involved and also like just to be showed on the on the Instagram right it's a big deal I'm sure any of you who have ever been posted on um your chapter's Instagram have felt really special about it all right so chapter wellness so this is something that every chapter should have um every semester once a semester and it should be around the midpoint of the semester and this is a time to kind of check in and discuss you know, what is going well in the chapter and then what can be improved upon. And it's really a good time for members to just have their voices heard by the chapter and feel like they have a say in what's going on. Um, the vice president should be the one to make sure that the event happens, but if the vice president runs it, like, that's okay. But I, th it's kind of better if it's ran by someone not on exec. So we recommend, like, the sisterhood chair or your, your if you have a leadership or diversity chair, um, they should kind of be the ones like facilitating and leading the space. Maybe the vice president plans it and takes charge of the surveys, but then someone else is like leading discussion. Maybe a standards board member is like leading discussion. And it's kind of like an after action review and reflection for big events in areas of Omega Phi Alpha. So typically that's like recruitment, retreat, service, friendship, leadership opportunities. Um, 
if like fundraising or finances are a concern in your chapter, that might be something to highlight as well. But obviously after like bid day or recruitment, that's when that survey should go out. Same with like retreat. But at this point, um, a climate check-in should be sent in like two weeks before your uh, chapter wellness. That way you have people have time to, you know, really think and reflect and fill out the survey. And also um, whoever's leading the event or the vice president is able to kind of like read through the responses. And we have like um, an example of like the questions to ask in a facilitator guide. You can find that on, on OPA portal. Um, overall, it should be a mandatory event for all members in your chapter. So if you want to do it during chapter time, maybe you, or you make chapter a little longer that day or something separate, um, and maybe do a condensed chapter and then dive into the chapter wellness. But you want to make sure you start off setting some grand rules for respect and understanding, like, you know, what stays here, what's, you know, what's said here stays here, and but what's learned here we take away, um, one deep and one mic, all good things like that, all just things that kind of create respect and a safe spot that people feel open to sharing um, and remind people it's about constructive criticism and feedback and not like tearing each other down. I know sometimes drama like that has come up. It should be a very structured event overall, though. It should be very structured um, of having someone lead and having like things timed um, and an order of like what you're talking about and who's talking when, things of that nature. It's good to kind of split into small groups to discuss about like, you know, how do you guys feel about recruitment in those small groups and have it timed? And then you come back and kind of share those bigger takeaways, things of that nature. Um, I'm actually going to, let me pull up the facilitator guide really quick before we get to the rest. Give me one second. Because I just want to highlight a few things on there. Can, okay. So, sorry, I'm saying it's the right point. So making sure to ask questions, not being like repetitive throughout and being objective having time for like discussion, making, checking like random groups and smaller groups, maybe having like post-its or notes that way people can look back afterwards. Um, really highlight things from the sur the survey. The survey should be reviewed. That way you could kind of find like recurring ideas and things going on. But here are like suggestions or questions for each of like the different areas. Um, new member leadership, also like exact too. And that way you're able to like grow from the event afterwards. Like you, as an exec board can meet together, I'm having a chance to reflect and see like what changes are able to happen. And that's an OPA portal. Let me get back to the slideshow. We're almost done. I'm keeping a track on time. I wanna, I wanna be able to have a little bit of time for people to share ideas as well. Okay. Sorry, my computer's a little slow. But next we're gonna be talking about the end of the semester. Um, I think this is a good time to kind of reflect on how things are and what you want to do in the future, but there's also obviously a lot of fun things to do as well, um, creating different superlatives or awards, whether that's like a paper plate like fun award or things like service hours, participation, attendance, GPA, most improved GPA if you have access to things like that. Um, I think it's fun to create like a Google form where everyone can like submit things or if you as like your sisterhood director or whatever want to like take it upon yourself to come up with things for the chapter. Um, I know one chapter did things like related to so they did like the sweetest can be award and like that person got like a jar of honey or like a lifesaver like it got a bag of lifesavers so it depends on your chapter what you want to do if you want to do that but like a uh, paper plate awards are fun or just like a printed out certificate um that kind of just makes people feel good some sort of like senior send-off obviously you want to try to plan like a ceremony but having like a moment where people can like talk about the seniors or, you know, maybe um, everyone writes a nice note for the seniors, things like that. It doesn't need to be um, 
anything lavish or over the top, but just having like a chance to kind of like honor and celebrate the seniors and have maybe give them time to speak to as that's like kind of like their farewell to the chapter as they grow into becoming an alum. And then I know formal is also very popular for chapters to do, um, you know, dry events, make sure it's that, but it's kind of just fun to like dress up and hang out all together in that kind of setting. Um, I had a chapter that they did theirs in an aquarium. I thought that was really cool. Um, but there's like a lot of fun different places you can have like a formal or different kinds of like end of the semester events to celebrate everything. Um, some resources for you all. Everything is on OP portal as always. There's a sister director manual and we also have like a formal manual, an active retreat manual, um, different um, workshops besides just the chapter one wellness one that I pulled up we have ones about like shared values and things like that that may be good to look for, into for morale as well and if you're ever not sure about how to do something on OPA portal check out the how-to videos they are great um overall in general if you've ever worked with me before been to another presentation that I gave just anything OFI related I want you to think about you know does this promote friendship leadership or service and if it doesn't, let it go. But at the end of the day, we want to make sure that everything goes back to our values and our cardinal principles of this. So, you know, when problems arise, I think it's good to bring it back to this. And if it's not, let it go. And with that being said, too, um, you know, these events, this shared friendship events, they're really fun and they're important. But we also want to make sure that we're focusing on developing friendship and leadership through service. At the end of the day, service should be at the forefront of all of that we're doing. So making sure at a service event, we're connecting with various members. Maybe we're doing like intentional groupings for things that are service project um, or we're creating service buddies or teams um, just as another way to continue to develop our sisterhood and friendship. Thank you so much. We have a few minutes left. So I just want to know um, if anyone has any questions or concerns about things going on with their chapter, like sisterhood morale wise, or if you have like a great sisterhood event or activity you do, whether it's like, um, I wanted to hear more about if you're doing ones like at chapter that make chapter more fun, or just in general, if you have something that I didn't mention that your chapter does that you think is great and want to share, feel free to unmute or put it in the chat, please. And also that's my email if you need to reach me or if you have any questions at all. I'm just gonna stop sharing for a second, but I would love to hear from someone about something fun that your chapter does or tradition um, that your chapter does that anyone wants to share. Has um, any chapter had their chapter wellness event this semester yet, or they're having one soon? Do they know? You can help me up in the chat. I want to make sure chapters are having chapter wellness. Let's see what Audrey said. Oh, that's awesome. I like the service and chair spotlight. Okay, chapter one is happening today. That's great. Love to hear that. Yeah, I know some chapters like to do like an officer spotlight and a sister spotlight separate just to like make sure the sister of the week isn't always um like an officer, right? So like kind of separating that I think is good to do. Yes, I love the Rose Buddies. I know some chapters do like Bee Buddies, but I, I like that too. Okay, chapter one is happening tonight too. Great. Yeah, it's just like having creating opportunities for stuff outside of events, I think is great as well. All righty then. Well, if no oh wait did i think there's something else let me see chapter one list last week great glad that you had it um it should be coming up as we're coming up of spring break if you haven't but if not bring it up to your chapter and see if you're able to make one happen this semester if you guys don't have one planned definitely recommend doing it 
Um, just because I know everyone said they're very busy and tired, I will wrap things up, but I am going to put um, in the chat a feedback survey for this event. If you are able to fill that out, we really appreciate that. But otherwise, if no one else has anything else, thank you so much for attending today. Um, I hope you got something out of it and that you found it valuable. Um, reach out with any questions. I'll send an email with like the recording and the PowerPoint um, and probably the feedback survey as well. Um, but have a great rest of your Sunday. I hope you have a great week and rest of your semester. And thank you again for attending today, guys.